Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time, y'all. Let's get ready to get it in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early what I see, seek the script study and prayer line on this um, 20th day in January 2023. <clears throat> the conference line seems to be down. It seems like all uh, free conference call lines are down. Because I dialed like about four different numbers and none of them is working. So those that just chime in on the conference line look like they might miss out this morning. But I think the most high that you all is, is in here. Yeah. Thank the most high you all is in here. Good to see you in here. A uh, big bro. I see Don Deems in here. I see Willie uh, uh, Tolliver is in the building. Mark uh, Logan is up in here. Nicole Robinson is in the house. Good to see you in here, mother. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm sad that um, <clears throat> those on the conference line will not be on. Figure out uh, what's going on with the conference line. Leslie Sutton, good to see you in here. Good to see you in here. I'm pretty sure my phone going to be ringing uh, for the folk that um, can't get in the conference line. I'll attempt probably to use my phone when they call to uh, <clears throat> let them listen in direct. That's what I'm thinking. Shalom, shalom, Nicole Robinson. Shalom, everybody. Um, yeah, look like that's what I'm going to have to do. Yeah, it's really important to get your tag game on today because we're going to be short um, in attendance based on the conference line based on the conference line Beverly always a pleasure <clears throat> well y'all know what it is it's the Grace Explained series uh, part 8 at this point Bree what it be Trisha Johnson is in the building Young Faithful Barbara a day one up in here at the most high for you Hallelujah as well. You know what I did find out though, since the conference lines are down, I was studying on it, looking on the internet, and I found out they say that when you, you know, the access code, when you dial in, you can use that access code even if you dial in another number. That's what they said. I ain't never tried it, but I'm going to believe that. That literally, if I was able to find a working conference call number, I can dial it and then put in our conference code and it would take us in. Isn't that something? Taylor in the building. Taylor, you kind of witty, man. You kind of like quick with it. <clears throat> them children's mommy in here. Where them children at? Because I know they mommy in here. Good to see you. Them, ch them children, mommy. Uh, we all here in the, in the, comp in the Grace Explain a series, part eight. With no further ado, let's get it in. Let's go to Ephesians 2 and 8. Now, normally we pray. You know, we, we have a prayer and a praise session. And we didn't have that this morning because of the conference line. So let's get this prayer in. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Hundreds know how in your presence because we love you. We lift you up, brook your name. Your name is above every name. And that's your name. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Yah all by yourself. You you reign supreme, Elohim. <clears throat> and we love you. Though. You're the Malek of Maleks, King of Kings. You're the Adonai of Adonai, Lord of Lords. And we love you. And we thank you. Send a relevant word to this to your people that we may grow in you and we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor not only now but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
and hallelujah. All right, y'all, let's get it. <clears throat> Ephesians 2, 8, look what it say. For by grace are you saved. Yeah, for by grace are you saved. But it's through faith. Yeah, but it's through faith. Good to see you in here, Melissa. Yep, you had to chime on in this morning. For by grace are you saved, but it's through faith. Period. You need grace? Yep. But it don't work. It don't work unless you have faith in Yah. You want to call grace kindness? Because there's an ingredient in, in grace that's equated to kindness, him being kind towards us. Banks, good to see you in here. Tia, good to see you in here. Tia, yeah, good to see you in here. But if, if you want to look at grace's kindness, you can do that. But his kindness only works towards you through faith. <laughs> Did you get that? And faith without works is dead. Did you get that? You think that scripture right there is talking about faith that don't work? Or do you believe it's talking about faith that works? Because without the works is dead. And the works is obe obedience. Let's not get it twisted. Let's be, let's be plain. The works that this is talking about is obeying what he say. Having faith in what? A arbitrarily Elohim? A ar arbitrarily believing in him? Or believing in him according to his word? John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was with Yah, the word was Yah. Yah is his word. Are y'all with me? For by grace are you saved through faith. It's not that of yourselves. It's not faith in you. It's faith in him. It's not that of yourself. We was helpless, hopeless. It's the gift. He gifted it to you. He gave it to you. For Yah so loved the world that he gave. That's a gift. His only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, that's the faith, believeth. In him should not perish but have everlasting life. You notice it don't say believe. In that text, it says believe is ongoing. Continue to believe. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. Right? Then it went on to say, in the ninth verse, not of works. So I watched the Catholicized interpretation of this, and it's the saddest thing to see. That when people say, not of works, like you can't do nothing to be saved. You don't have to do nothing in order to be saved. The devil is a lie. Because faith without works is dead. And grace works through faith. That works. <laughs> so there's some works jumping off without question. It's just not the works of the law. And I taught that a couple of, uh, uh, a a couple of series ago. Torrance, twice, read. I appreciate you uh, being faithful up in here like this, Torrance. May the most high brook you, man. You know what it is. Ephesians 2 and 9 right now. But it's not of works. Work, works of the law. Works of the law. Works of his word on stone. No, you got to remove the stone. Are you you got to remove the stone. And let the word be written on the tables of your heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. It got to be in your heart. He baptized the Ruah, the spirit of the word, inside of us to lead and guide us. No more religion. We want relationship. Then he went on to say in the temper, for we are his workmanship. Are y'all with me? For we are his workmanship. AKA like his handiwork. Oh, he busy in us. We're, we're, we're his handiwork created in the Messiah. Created in the word made flesh. 
And when the word was made flesh, the Messiah shied away from his own flesh. He checks somebody for calling him good. Because he was complimenting his flesh, his humanity. No, I don't compliment that. I'm not here for that. I'm here to reconcile you back with the Ruah, the spirit of the living Elohim. Same word that Adam disrespected in the beginning when death came on the scene, came down 75 generations, but it did part at the 42nd generation to grab the faith of Abraham because that's what it takes for the word to work for you. You want grace? You want the power of the word to do in you uh, 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 what you couldn't do for yourself? You got to mix it with faith. Mo, what you know? See, you made it up in here. Because the conference line is down. I pray that everybody be on the conference line able to chime in today. Is that all right? For we are Yah's workmanship, created in the Mashiach, created in the Messiah. Yahushua HaMashiach. On to good works. Folks think you got grace, you're not going to live on to good works. No, that's when you really start. That's when you switch from being religious into a, a true relationship. That's when that happens. For we are as workmanship created in the Mashiach onto good works, which Yah have uh, uh, before ordained that we should walk in them. This, 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 this jumped off a long time ago. That's why it's needful for me to write on to you other uh, common salvations, which was once delivered on to the uh, uh, Yahudim. They call them the saints now. Yeah, that was once delivered on to uh, 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 the Yahudim. <clears throat> um, how are we going to do this? Let's go to, let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, James 4. Six. James four and six. Look what he say. But he giveth more so called grace, right? More unmerited favor. He gives more unmerited favor. Where wherefore he saith, Yah resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Y'all resisted the proud. You, what is that talking about, though? And all that getting, get understanding. What is that really talking about? Did you know that um, some people, some people listen to Yah, listen to the word, but they so caught up in pride that it causes them not to obey. They'll listen, but their pride won't let them obey. They'll listen, but they're not humble enough to submit. It's not to hear the word that's justified, it's the doer. And what happens is a person will listen to the word and the word will tell you what to do and something in you just won't let you do it. And if I was to identify what that is, it's pride. No, I ain't doing that. That attitude. No, I ain't doing, uh-uh. No, I ain't doing that. Um, People that are like that, like openly go against him, but yet they justify it. I mean, they openly go against him. Banks in the building. Good to see you in there. Did I say what's up to you, Bev? If I didn't, what's up with it, sis? But folk, folk, folks, openly, I what? Look, it, it's nothing. It, it's terrible to watch religious people. I ain't gonna lie. But that's Yah's business in the transformation process. But it's just an ugly thing to watch. It's an ugly thing to watch people that are in open rebellion against Yah while claiming him. That's just, it's just not cool to watch. 
it's not hard to watch someone that's not claiming them live in sin, even though you don't like that either. But it's totally different when you see somebody that claim him. You're right, Reed. But it's hard to see somebody that claim him in rebellion. And what got them in rebellion is pride. Straight pride. Yeah. Their pride won't let them bow down. You know what happened? JB, good to see you in here, man. It's the uh, Grace Explained series, part eight, and we in James four and four right now, right? But you got, you got, you got, you got folks like that, um, like, 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 like. Let me let me give you an example. The religious people, his chosen people, his chosen people ha was not. In right standings with Yah, obviously they end up being scattered and shipped into slavery, right? But prior to prior to the sh shipping into slavery part, because they was already scattered. When the Messiah came, they was already scattered. The Northern Kingdom was already scattered. Now the only thing that the only ones that was left was Judah, and Judah was in Jerusalem. And when the Messiah came, they had a problem with the Word being made flesh. They had a problem with the Word being made flesh. For a couple of reasons. One reason was they were in rebellion against Yah on a level that they didn't recognize. They were in rebellion against the word on a level that they didn't recognize. They were religious. They had a form of Yahliness denying the power thereof, right? But the problem came when the word was made flesh and started telling them that. The problem came when the word was made flesh, John 1 and 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us as we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. It was full of grace and truth, but they had a problem with the word be becoming a human being and be found fashioned as a man. They had a problem with the word coming on a level and telling them that. And what they were able to do was they were able to attack the flesh in response to how much they hated the word. Let them tell it them and Yah was in good standings, right? According to them, them and Yah was good, cool. But the truth of the matter, they weren't cool. They were not cool. And when the word was made flesh and a man told them that them and Yah wasn't cool, they had a problem with that man. But it wasn't the man. He had come... Speaking on his own, he said, I come in my father's name and you receive me not. He literally was telling them what Yah said. And they hated what Yah said so much that they wanted to kill him. And people are just like that today. Let me show you some more. Listen, so their response to him was, we be the seed of Abraham. Or we be under Moses' law. We don't know who the heck you are. Right? Because they wanted to bypass him when the word was made flesh and dwelt among them. Yah chose to be tabernacled in the tent not made with hands, born of a virgin. And being found fashioned as a man, he came unto his own, his own received him not. But he because he was coming with a level of truth that was true and telling them y'all out of pocket. What people do then is say, I don't follow man. I don't follow, I just follow Yah. That's what they was telling the Messiah. We be seed of Abraham. We, we, we listen to Moses. We don't know who you is. And what he was saying was greater than Abraham and Moses. Oh, y'all better listen to that. What he was saying is what Abraham and Moses was talking about. What he was saying, they they they, they rejoice when he. That's what he told them. Abraham, uh, when he, he rejoiced when he saw my day. When Abraham was, I am. He said, I am, because he was saying, I'm Yah. You tripping? Are y'all with me? But people love to attack 
a human being. I don't follow man when that man comes in the name of Yah and really telling them the truth and the truth goes against what they doing. Is y'all getting this? That's why a lot of people, that's why a lot of people don't give because they want to say, oh, I ain't giving to no man. Joker, you, you listening to a man preach to you. <laughs> I ain't giving to no man. You receiving from the man and growing because it's not about the man. They hated the Messiah so much because he was preaching the real word of Yah that they wanted to kill him. And they did. How about that? And they did. So James 4 and 6 says, but he giveth more grace, unmerited favor. Listen. Wherefore he said, Yah resisted the proud. Because a proud person don't bow down to the word. Yeah, the, a proud person will not bow down to the word. The word come to uh, pull down, pull down strongholds. You know, cast down strongholds and uh, pull down strongholds and cast down imaginations. And if you look up the word imaginations, it's arguments. Boca told Pastor Kim Tinsley. When 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 James four and six right now, in the in Grace Explains series part eight. But but the word come to cast down imaginations, in KJV it says imagination. But when you look up imaginations, it mean arguments, and people argue. The Pharisees argued when the Messiah brought the word to them. They argued. They argued against it. Just mute your phone and listen, mother. Just mute your phone and listen. Thank you. But they cast down imaginations when the Grace Explains series, part eight, mother, James four and six. Are y'all with me? So, 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 so there are arguments that happen, right? And those that belong to Yah that are not proud will put the word on their mental arguments, They'll put the word on their mental arguments. They'll put the word on, and what and the word will do its job. It will it will cast down imaginations in every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah, and the knowledge of Yah is the word of Yah. His word will pull down your stinking thinking. People don't really recognize. That I'm not talking about a false prophet. Now you you dealing with a joker that's screwing everybody, cussing, lying, cheating, ain't living the life. You shouldn't be there in the first place, preaching false doctrine and all that. Why are you there in the first place? But people will use the man argument just like uh, the Pharisees use the man argument. Like who the heck are you? We know who Abraham is. We know who Moses is. We do that. And the reason why they were doing that, because he was coming with a truth that challenged their position, that accused them of not being righteous, that exposed them. So the argument then becomes, because they're proud to become religious. When what he said lined up with the word. What he said lined up with the word. Do not get it twisted. The Bible they carry, the Sifa that they carry, what the Mashiach taught, Lined up with it, but they was on some, who are you? Oh, you don't like this truth, huh? I thought you said you like Yah. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. You got to go by truth. And you can't you can't kick that out. I, I be, man, I be feeling so. I watch, the cold part about it is I, be, I, I love people, right? And I watch religious people. And I see their rebellion and their pride. I see that they're not, they're not doing what Yah say. They do it when they feel like it. And so if a man come and say, no, you're not doing it right. Oh, I, I miss me and God. That's pride. You're not fighting against the man, even though you aim and you attack at the man. And you want to separate the man from Yah because the man, yeah, they want to separate the Messiah from Yah. And whenever he, 
he started talking like he was Yah, they started picking up rocks because they wanted to kill him. They, how a person trying to disobey Yah, you deceived. Because you, you, you'll separate the, the truth of the word from the man intentionally. So you don't have, so that's your reason not to listen to the man. When the man wasn't preaching of himself anyway, he was preaching the word of Yah. Alina, good to see you in here. We're in the Grace Explained series, part eight. Right now we're in James four and six. I'm going to talk to you today to help you with your strongholds. <laughs> Listen, because you need some grace. But he gives us more grace. I'm trying to tell you how to get some more grace. Not me through the word, y'all. But he gives us more grace. Wherefore, he said, y'all resisted the proud, though. Because grace works through faith. And faith humbles themselves under the authority of the word and do it. Because humbling yourself under the authority of the word without doing it, that's faith without works. And that faith, that faith is dead. And grace works through faith. So listen, <clears throat> he gives more grace. Listen what it says. He gives more grace, James 4 and 6. Wherefore he said, Yah resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. So who is grace for? Who, 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 look, he gonna shower down the power for you to obey him. Just like I keep telling y'all, when he said, let there be light, the power for light to come was in the word. He said, let there be light. There was light. Bible said the word is gone out of his mouth and will not return void. Boy, accomplish what he pleased because power is in the word because Yah is the word. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. The word was Yah. Listen. James 4 and 6 says, but he giveth grace, unmerited favor, unearnable ability to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do you want to do what's right? He'll give you the grace to do it. Because some people do not want to do what's right. I'm not talking about the difficulty of doing what's right, because it gets difficult. There's some folks that don't want to do it. You got some folks that do it, even though it was difficult, because they want to do it. But you got some folks that don't want to be faithful. Don't want no one telling them what to do. Don't want to give. That's my money. They don't want to. That's why they don't. Because of their pride. And their pride then go kick in and say, oh, that's man. That's what they're going to do. That's what they did to the Messiah. Oh, he just a man. Oh, read uh, 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 Yachinon 8, John 8. They called him a bastard. Said Mary cheated on Joseph, called him a bastard, fatherless. Yeah, they did all that. Because he was telling them the truth. <laughs> and they rather separate him from Yah. So they could kill him. Because of the word. It wasn't because of him. He said, I come, I come in my father's name. It wasn't because of him. He came representing the word. He didn't represent himself. He represented the word. Folks don't like that word. They say it's you. No, it's something about you, though. No, it's the word. <laughs> oh, it's the word. <laughs> you, you religious. You got a fork. Go get the real thing if you're going to get it. And all that getting, get to understand. Understand this. Listen. But he giveth grace, listen, more grace. Wherefore he said, if y'all resist the proud, give grace unto the humble. So look what he said. Submit yourself therefore to Yah. You got to submit. Danny Evans, we up in here. The Grace Explained series, part eight. We in James four and seven right now. Submit yourself therefore to Yah. Resist the devil and he'll flee. He ain't fleeing Unless you submit to truth, unless you humble yourself under the word, then that gives him his walking papers. He can't do nothing with you. But when, when we don't submit ourselves to Yah, we got our own righteousness and we expect him to flee. He working with you. You religious. That's how you get transformed into a religious person. You know, you still cuss. You are still screw. You still do you. No, you ain't faithful. Heck no, you ain't gonna give up no money. It's your money. Yeah, you come and go as you please. It's you and God against the world, ain't it? That's what they told the Messiah. And he resisted them too. 
Oh, yeah, he did. He resisted them. Bloodline and all, with their dreadlocks and everything, Negroes. He resisted them. Mm -hmm. Then they got shipped into slavery right after, right after uh, the death on the tree. Then, then he shipped them into slavery. Then he had them on the run. They was on the run getting dogged out way before the 400 started. Because the, four, the 400 didn't start until them ships uh, 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 showed up in Negro land. Look at the maps in the slave coast. The 400 didn't start until they landed in Virginia. You, pu you, you pushing buttons in my ear, mother. Are y'all with me? The, 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 time, the time didn't start until they landed in Virginia in 1619. In 2019, they served the 400. And then the Most High, in, 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 in Genesis, the 15th chapter, said, you know, after they served the 400, I'm going to judge the nation. And right after that, COVID hit and the whole world got shut down. And it's been chaotic on earth ever since because judgment is here. But he resisted them and kicked their dog on behinds to the point they don't have no language. They don't, they're carrying their slave master's last names. They're being redlined out of properties and robbed, gunned down and dogged out by the racist police. Being tricked and misused. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because he resisted them. Because they resisted him. Oh, back to 6th verse, y'all. James 4 and 6. But he giveth more grace, wherefore he said, y'all resisted the proud. We be the seed of Abraham. He resisted the proud. But giveth more grace unto the humble. Slow your roll. Calm down. Submit yourself, therefore, to Yah. Submit yourself to the word. What the word telling you to do? But folks, I, I watch, it's heartbreaking for me to watch people with all this word going forth and folks still on some dumb stuff. Oh, it's me and God against the world. You be, keep saying that, you're going to get it too. Yeah. He said, repent and do it quickly before I take the candlelight, the candlestick from me. And folks don't even know what that is. Because if you did, you wouldn't be saying, oh, it's me and God against the world. It, it, but keep saying it and watch it happen. <clears throat> On some float on then. Do you. Submit yourself therefore to Yah. I'm trying to help you. Submit yourself therefore to Yah. Resist the devil and what the devil going to do. That's how you give him his walking papers. You give him his walking papers by submitting to the word. It's not to hear the word that's justified. It's to do it. You got to hear it and do it. A verse then says, draw nigh on the Yah and he'll draw nigh on to you. That sounds fair. We the one left him. And he still drew near. Draw now to Yah, he'll draw now to you. He sent the word. 75 generations to the birth. He sent the word. So you could draw nigh. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So you could draw nigh. He bust the first move, y'all. It's not that we loved him, he first loved us. Israel was in Egypt. They didn't even, they weren't even studying Yah like that. He came to see about them. He sent Moshe to rescue them. He sent the son to rescue us. Moshe was the shadow and type of the Messiah coming to save us off the real 400 years. And he did it. Died on the tree for you and me. And we just is religious. Whoo. Draw down to Yah, a first, y'all. How much time I got? Draw down to Yah, and he'll draw down to you. Is that fair? To the word, y'all. Not this religious stuff. Folks hustling for Yah. You don't even listen to him. Why are you hustling for him and you don't even listen to him? Folks got ministries. You're in rebellion. <laughs> Crazy. So I see a person working for Yah in error, so I try to tell them the truth. That's my job, y'all. 
I got a job to do. Oh, that's man. That's cool too. Draw down to Yah, he'll draw down to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Who is he talking to? Religious people that go to the synagogues, that assemble. He ain't talking to the, the folks at the juke joint, at the sugar shack. He talking to religious people. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. You tripping, you with him, lightweight, though. And then you're not. <laughs> oh, you playing. Why is you doing that to yourself? Look what he say. Be afflicted and mourn. Look where he going with this. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Why is he saying that? Because you out of pocket. You dancing and celebrating the victory. Did y'all read uh, Isaiah? I ain't going to touch on it too hard, Melissa. Isaiah, the first chapter. He said, man, y'all doing all these little convocations and assembling and all. Y'all assembling and, and, and praising me, man. I can't stand it. He said, I can't. You stink. He said, animals know they masters, but y'all don't even know me like that. Man, go, I don't get up out of here with that. Read Isaiah, the first chapter. He like, man, I don't even want to. Ugh, for real? We get so religious. I'm not saying don't work for Yah. I'm going to say it again. Yah's not leading me to tell none of y'all don't work for Yah. I'm going to say it one more time. Yah's not telling me to tell y'all don't work for him. It's you religious people that don't bow down to him. Having a form of Yah in it. And the only thing you end up teaching is rebellion. You'll post rebellious stuff. That leads rebellious people. The blind lead the blind. They both fall in the ditch. You, you got to watch what you do. You got to be submissive to Yah and work for him. You can't be using his name and his fame doing your own thing. It don't work. like It work like that for you if that's what you want. But you don't want it. You don't want to smoke. I'm telling you. So he's using me to try to tell you. Got me over here fidgeting and there. Look at me. I'm like a nervous wreck or something. Man. Listen. He didn't have an ear to hear what the Ruah said to the Ecclesia. So look what he said. Ninth verse. He said, be afflicted. Why? Because you tripping. And mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Why? You need to humble yourselves in the sight of Yah, and he shall lift you up. I'm going to show you all this because I'm running out of time. So let's rock with this real quick. Let's go to 1 Peter. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Switch your laughter. It's not a laughing matter. Look what this say. I'm going to have to rock this a little faster. 1 Peter 5, 6. Look what it say. It says, humble yourself, therefore. I just say, humble, humble. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yah, that he might exalt you in due time. Didn't we just read that? Didn't we just read that? You got to hump. Listen, we're not here because we goody two shoes. We're actually here because we're not. So what he's doing is transforming us, those that will allow it. He came unto his own, his own received him not. They didn't allow it. He came unto his own because he loved them. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But who cashed in on it was the believer. And the believer humbled themselves and obeyed. Listen, seventh verse. Casting your cares upon him, knowing he cares. Now you got action. He came so you can humble yourself. Tell him all about it. Come to the throne of grace with boldness to make your petitions known. Listen. Eighth verse. Be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion. Didn't we just read it? Submit yourself to Yah and resist the devil. That's the order. Look what the eighth verse said. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who he may devour. Who do he devour? Religious people. The proud. Oh, that's me and God against the word. Are you serious? Better stop saying that. Quit pushing that. People believe that. Rebellious people believe that. Yah got order, and he been had it. Who stopped his order? What makes y'all think he ain't got no order or no structure? Who told you that? Facebook? 
all these different platforms of unordained jokers that know a bunch of eschatology and reading a bunch of books that still cuss and screw. <laughs> Night first. Whom, whom resists steadfast in the faith? He telling you to resist the devil just like we just read in James. Resist the devil and he'll flee. Listen, after you submit yourself to Yah, who resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction, and you ain't the only one that got to be submissive. You ain't the only one that got to obey. You ain't the only, you ain't the only one. We all got to do it, including me. Whom resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. All of us got to do it. We all got somebody to answer to. Oh, I just listen to God, man. You you know you're not. <laughs> you know you think you you got the deception. You're deceived. I'm trying to snatch you out of a lie, of out of a delusion you in. Listen. Tip first. But the Elohim of grace, this is the grace series, part eight, y'all. But the Elohim of grace, grace explained. But the Elohim of grace, who have called us onto his eternal glory. By Yahushua HaMashiach. What was Yahushua HaMashiach? What was the Messiah, Yah, Yah, Yahushua? Yahushua means Yah salvation. What, what is the Messiah, the Savior, the Rescuer, our Redeemer? Yah is salvation. What was it? He's the Word made flesh. And when the Word was made flesh, he shied away from the flesh. Why are you calling me good? There's none good but Yah. He shied away from the flesh. He said, the Father is greater than I. He shied away from the flesh to redeem us to the Word. Tenth verse. But the Elohim of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by the Word made flesh, and when he was in the flesh, he shied away from the flesh to give us the Word, after that you have suffered a while, Grit your doggone teeth to go against you. Grit, you had to, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. You got to grit your teeth to deny yourself. Yeah, your pride. Yeah, yeah. Your pride. Religious folks. Rebellious. They got like sabbatical passes. Who be getting that? Where y'all get them sabbatical passes from? Oh, I, I got to take a break. Me and God need to. Wait, who told you that? Show me that. No, really. If anyone can show me, I'd love it. When you when you lead yourself, is you and God against the world? Oh, you get to come and go as you please. Do whatever the heck you want to do. Oh, it's me and God. Ain't nobody going to stop. That's man trying to stop, stop God. <laughs> me and God, you listen to that. It's going to stop you. You heck of rebellious. You don't even live right. Truth be told, you got this big religious facade. Can I tell you the real truth? People that do that, tell the truth. You're not living right. <clears throat> you got a big religious facade. You got secret. You. <laughs> anyway. After that you have suffered a while. Suffered a while. This is what he said. I'm finna go. Y'all can't stone me on Facebook, can you? Is there any emojis for stones? Don't y'all stone me. Listen. After you have stuffed a while, look what he gonna do. He gonna make you perfect. That's what he trying to do. I, he told me to tell you he trying to make you perfect. And you know what he gonna do? He gonna establish you. You know what else he gonna do? Oh, he found the rocks. Reed got me. Uh, is there a block? <laughs> Get a block. He hit me with three rocks. <laughs> and he laughing. <laughs> oh, he got me. <laughs> Listen, let me hurry up before I bleed to death. <laughs> uh, after that, you have suffered a while. Make you perfect. Look what he want to do to you. He want to he establish you. Strengthen you. And settle you. Is y'all listening? He ain't trying to hurt nobody. He trying to get us to submit. And in grace is the power to submit. 
if you only want, oh, come on, y'all. I love y'all, man. That's why I, I, I try to teach as hard as I can. I'm trying to do it to the best of my ability, y'all. Y'all pray he anoint me more. I'm going to read the 10th verse in the NIV and then we're going to go. Let me see what time it is. Yeah, I got to go. And the Elohim of all grace, who have called you to his eternal glory in the Messiah, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Yeah, you, you, just got, you guys to be willing to suffer. If, it, if any man come after me, he got to deny himself. If he, he said, if you don't suffer with me, you won't reign with me. We got to suffer. And the cool part about it, we're suffering because of ourselves. And we just going to shake it off. We're going we to. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? You're you, you, you going to suffer. You're going you to suffer. Keisha, good to see you in here. You want to run this one back. It's a good one. After you suffered a while. But the Elohim of all grace. He... In closing, I'm gonna, you know, this is the Grace Series Part 8. Listen, grace is the power to make it. But it works through faith. And faith is you trust him at his word and you're willing to do what it takes to make it. You're, you're, doing, you're doing what it takes. You're doing what it takes. Copper Tone, good to see you in here. We're almost gone. Run it back. We're in, uh, in, in, in the, the Grace Explained series, part eight, and we're in uh, James 4 and 10 right now. But run it back. I think you enjoy it. But listen, and I like the copper uh, picture you got there, too. you definitely copper tone. Listen, but the Elohim of all unmerited favor, who has called us onto his eternal glory by the word, Messiah is the word. It was the word made flesh, but the flesh died. Now we don't know him after the flesh, according to uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 16. We don't know him after the flesh no more. It's just the word. Even when he was in the flesh, he said, don't call me good. Why are you calling me good? There's nothing good. But yeah, what you calling me good for? No, he didn't say, don't call me good. He's asking you, why are you calling me good? Because he didn't come to deify the flesh. Are y'all with me? We're reconciled with the word. But the Elohim of all grace who have called us on to eternal glory by the Mashiach, after that you have suffered a while, Suffer how? Killing your pride? You you and Yah against the world? No such thing. No. He has system. Yeah. And social media didn't change it. And it's not. The web. Why do they call it the web? Internet. Enter the net. That's another conversation. <clears throat> but the, the enter to the net... Or the web, the sticky web, didn't change that. It's changing a lot of people, but it's not for good. But it didn't change Yah's word. He the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Listen, make you perfect after you suffer. Suffer how? Self denial. Yeah. You know how? You know. Look at this. When he came onto his own, his own received him not. They failed the test. Yeah. When he's found, when the word was found fashioned as a man, I kill him. That's how they feel about y'all. Kill him. Because the man was telling them the truth. <laughs> nah, we'd rather listen to Abraham. We'd be a Moses law. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you. I'm going to pray for you, though, because I love you. Y'all with me? Put five on it. We didn't do too many, uh, I had y'all listening today. Put five on it. If you with me, put five on it. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humble we know how we're in your presence because we love you. Continue to send uh, your word to deliver us from ourselves. Uh, you give grace. Yeah, we need grace. For, for, for by grace are we saved. We need grace. You, you give grace. You resist the proud. You resist the proud. You already know. You resist the proud, but you give grace, grace on those that will humble themselves under the mighty hand of uh, 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 your, uh, your ruah, of uh, your word. 
continue to, to, to transform us by the renewing of our mind. Because we know when you do that, we'll be able to prove what's good, acceptable, and your perfect will in these last and evil days. And we'll be careful for you to praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm on. Good to see you back in here, Copper Tone. We'll be missing you, man. We'll be missing you. Pray to see you even more. Hallelujah. Was y'all broke? Was y'all broke? Put a six in here if you was blessed by the message. I know it was a little turbulent, a little bit. <clears throat> Put a six in here if you was blessed, though. Put it here. Put it in here. A six if you was blessed. I I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I get it. Put a six in here if you was blessed. Right on. Tia. Put a six in here if you was blessed. Put a seven in here if, if you believe I, I preach too hard. Put a seven in here if I'm besides myself and I preach too hard. I really want to know. Maybe y'all can help me. Put a seven in here if I preach too hard. Oh, no, 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 M Logan, I know you put that seven in already. <laughs> Should I change it to an eight? <laughs> I, put, I put, uh, put a seven in here. I preach too hard. Do I preach too hard? A seven is I preach too hard. I need to stop preaching so hard. Is that what y'all saying? For the seven, if I preach too hard, I'm doing too much. Put a seven. Put a seven. For the, I preach too hard, seven. Oh, am I learning something? Maybe I do. Do I? Am I preaching too hard? Seven is pastor, watchman, uh, a preacher. You, you're preaching too hard. Calm down. Put a seven in here if I calm down. Oh, good seven. Oh, a good seven. Uh, my bad, forgot that seven. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, forget that seven. Okay. Okay. No, I just want to, I know I don't preach too hard. Thank you. Maybe I, maybe I need to take off the number. Seven, way too hard, but I like it. I ain't mad at you, but you like it? Well, that's, see, that's a good thing. Don't take your foot off the gas. Who said that? I like you. Not too hard. The truth is the truth. Okay. You preach like y'all tells you to. Thank you. You you want to preach hard? Okay, okay. I love y'all. I just I'm just doing a check. You know what I mean? Cause 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 I got stoned. I got stoned. I love you, stoner. I know you was joking with me. Love you. Love all y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all want to talk about? Oh, thank everybody. Push the share button. Thank everybody to tag. Thank everybody to financially support this ministry. Never support a ministry that ain't spiritually supporting you. So where you grow. If you grow here, you sow here. If you're not growing here. You shouldn't be so in here. But but I would encourage you to go somewhere where you can grow. And I really mean that. Because everybody should sow. You folks be looking the way out. No, no such thing. Everybody should sow. That don't mean you sow in here. Only sow here if you grow here. If you don't grow here, please don't rob where you grow to sow here. That ain't cool. Somebody living in your house, you say, "Oh, I need some money on the on the groceries and the light." Oh no, I gave I gave to the house next door. Yeah, they said they was behind on their bills, and they needed some food, so I gave them money. You know, as long as I give, you know, God know my heart is me and God against the world. You yeah, know, it's bigger than this house. You know, God is bigger. Than, God just don't live in this house, right? God live in other houses too. You ain't trying to say that all the all that old funny stuff. Yeah, don't play that. <laughs> so where you grow. I love y'all. Y'all want to talk about, oh, I can't even get y'all the conference line number right now to talk about it because it ain't working. Y'all pray that we get that uh, all that worked out. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.